Hello and welcome to the Riot Inverse Report. I have another brief collection of updates for you, so let's get into them. First, and most recently, the graphic novel for Mark of Athena was announced with its cover. It is set to release September 26th of 2023 and will be adapted by Robert Venditti and will feature artwork by Orpheus Collar. He has done previous graphic novels of Rick's works and made the artwork Rick Riordan has shared for the Netflix and Disney Plus adaptations of his books. Speaking of Rick, he has been posting a bit on Mastodon.ie where he has shared this gif of him holding a dog on the set of Percy Jackson with the caption, Becky made this gif for me. It's me holding Baby, one of my favorite cast members for the Percy Jackson TV show. Baby has a short role, but it's an Emmy contender. Fans think this is probably the dog that is really a chimera that Percy encounters when he meets Echidna on the St. Louis Arch. Isn't Baby adorable? Speaking of the set of Percy Jackson, Jeannie Chow, the hair department head, shared this image of the sunrise over the set trailers at the start of a production day this week. It's gorgeous, isn't it? But crazy how early they have to be on set. This is normal, though, as crew has to arrive earliest to set up and get ready for when the actors arrive, at which point the actors have to get into costume, hair, and makeup before filming can begin. So crew is usually on set pretty early and has to stay later than the actors. It's a lot of work, so I just want to send my appreciation to all the crew members of the show. They get the least praise and recognition, but without them, the show would not be possible. Now, as I am, you're probably also waiting to see if we get any announcements before the new year. And it seems like we won't. One Twitter user made a tweet saying, More casting news before Christmas for the Percy Jackson show. Ooh, maybe Winter Solstice, aka Talia's birthday, because... You know, her dad and uncle are Zeus and Poseidon. And they then tagged Becky and Rick to bring attention to that tweet, to which Becky responded with, Good reminder that our show's winter hiatus is coming up quick. We hope the cast and crew have a wonderful break. As for the announcements, I have not heard any rumblings from Mount Olympus or Mickey Mouse that Percy series is planning a reveal. Guess we'll just have to wait until January to find out who have been cast as Poseidon and Zeus. And about the break, the industry usually takes off for a few weeks around Christmas and the New Year's so people can go home and be with their family or travel for a bit, and that time is coming up soon. In fact, it might already be here. As I was working on this video, Jules O'Lowlin posted this to his Instagram stories saying that he's leaving Canada. He is the cinematographer for the show, so if he's heading out, it might be that they're all heading out right now. I'm hoping we at least get one more blog update from Rick to send us into the holiday season and give us an update on where they are with filming. But we shall see. We got another bit of information from Becky regarding merchandise. One fan asked her, Do you think once the TV show comes out, you guys will look into selling Camp Half-Blood or Camp Jupiter merch? I've always, always wanted merch, but the time I did get some, I was ripped off. Thank you for your time. And Becky's response was, Great question. Disney owns the rights to Percy Jackson merchandise. That means Heroes of Olympus too. How fast official merch becomes available all depends of the success of the show. I have a feeling that merch will be available pretty quickly. As for Heroes of Olympus, Disney might want to wait until that series is adapted as well, so we might have to wait a long time for official Camp Jupiter shirts. Finally, for an extra tidbit, Alexandra Daddario, who played Annabeth Chase in the films, was asked about Percy Jackson and her time as Annabeth in an interview, and she said, It was a wonderful part to play, and I'm so excited for her that she, Leah, gets to play it. The Percy Jackson books are so beloved. I was just a small part of it. She adds, I'm really excited about the series, and I hope people love it. I now have stepchildren, and you realize... Shows like Percy Jackson get kids into reading. It gets kids thinking. It gets them understanding about what it is to be different and to struggle with things. And I think that's why people love it so much. It's this really warm, supportive story that teaches you to be who you are and be supported when you're going through hard times. In addition to just being wonderfully entertaining... I think it's great that a whole new generation of kids will have the opportunity to see it on TV. 
I love seeing her excitement for the show and for Leah's portrayal of Annabeth. It feels like a passing of the torch. I also love what she had to say about the lesson the story has and how impactful it can be on kids. It will be great to see a new generation of kids get to grow up with this show. And that's all I had for today. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry again for the longer wait between videos, but there just has not been as frequent news or updates. Just trust that when there is big news, I will be making a video and getting it out as soon as I can. With that being said, this has been the Riordanverse Report. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you with the next wave of news. Bye!